Hey yo, welcome into the encounter episode. I'm gonna close my curtain. There we go. Yep, so today's the interesting me encounter episode. Um not really much has changed uh team wise because like obviously I'm about to do a bunch of um encounters as I literally just said. Oh, um I did go ahead and just like give Kurt all of my uh apricorns or apricorns or whatever. So now we got some love balls, some heavy balls, some fast balls, some lore balls, some friend balls, some moon balls, and some level, uh, a, a level ball. So, um, I am here in Azalea Town because I can get a headbutt encounter, and that's the first encounter I want to go for right now. I'm going to go ahead and put Cormo out front here with his hypnosis, and hopefully that will go well. Uh, if you guys missed the last episode, you go check that out. We made it into Mahogany Town. Pretty sure you can get an encounter here. Okay. Pretty sure you can get an encounter. There we go. Okay, so technically that's species. So I'm going to see if I can get anything else. Because, like, I'm pretty sure I can get a Gengar, you know? Like, I feel like I'm going to be able to hold on to my Haunter long enough to get a Gengar. So I feel like there's more than one encounter. Okay, let's go for this tree again. Yeah, that that's 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 more the speed I was actually, like, hoping for. Uh, I definitely feel like Lapras has 20 HP, so let me just go ahead. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Sing Hypnosis Battle. Alright, Lapras. I have my level ball, I could just go for that. Lapras has a pretty tough catch rate, so I think it might be a play. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw the level ball now. Like, it feels a little bit early to throw it, but, you know. We got him, we got him. That's all that really matters though, is catching him, right? Okay, okay. Game's running a little bit too much. All right, it's gonna be named Sign after No Sign, hang on. No Sign X, who, you know, commented on a video and uh, I appreciate that support that he gave. There's really not much more in my thought processes than that. It's just like, oh, okay, you gave me a little bit of support? Okay. You can have a nickname, no problem. I got you. I got you. All right, I'm going to run through Azalea or um, Ilex Forest because I'm still fairly confident I have not gotten the encounter below uh, Goldenrod. So we're going to be heading there. And then I have another counter above Goldenrod as well. Hi, Magby. It's good to see you, buddy. And then past that, I have, what is it called? I have Cherry Grove City as well as New Bark City that I can get encounters in. I don't, it's, it's the same thing. Like I don't necessarily like, need these encounters, but I ha I want to get them. Okay, a Staravia. Um, you can't really touch this thing, so let's confuse Ray it. I mean, it's a Staravia, right? I should be able to throw a ball at it. Just throw a Premier Ball. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna name this thing a Master. Master. After, uh, Master 10... 1001 is the way I'm reading it. I don't know if that's necessarily right. I also don't know if I did get an encounter here. It feels like I did. I'm gonna do a quick PC check. What route was this guy? He has static, that's fun. 34. I do not have another Route 34, so like either I missed the encounter or I never got it. Well, I'm here. Static, pick up, shadow tag, risk, overgo, you have a TM, I will take that. 
Chlorophyll. Brisk is probably the one I'm saddest about. And he's brave, so he's a physical attacker, which isn't bad. Because he has a lot of physical moves he gets, so I'll take it. And let me check out what that TM was that the Munchlax was holding. Another double kick TM, that's fine. So yeah, I guess I'm fine there. You guys can let me know though if I can release a Staravia. It's not gonna like break my bank to not have a Staravia, so. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Okay, and now I'm going into Route 34. Oop. Yeah, I swear I got a Zapdos here instead. I got a Skip Loom. You know, it's fine. It's fair. Fair stuff. I'm going to pick up this berry because you always need more apricorns. I actually am a little bit low on money because I spent a lot of money on balls. All right, what do we got here? Come on. Need arena. Well, I've got the perfect thing for this, actually. Moon ball. Got him. All right, all right, all right. What is my next person? Um, you know, I found grit. I'm gonna go grit, and since there's two parts to his name that I feel like are easy enough to use, grit gunner. Although I will say that need arena is a lot less likely to be used than the hypno, so. You know that's just part of it it's just it's it, it it's all part of it all right now we're heading on to this is actually gonna go a lot faster than i thought it would heading on to cherry grove and this is where having cut is going to come in handy because it makes sure i don't have to do a bunch of like going through grass Yes, please give me the, the, I keep wanting to say berry so bad. No, it's an apricorn, apricorn. All right. And green one. I think the green ones give me friend balls, which I'm not that crazy about. I actually want more red ones because level balls like are really good, especially right now for me. All right, old rod. Ugh. Not even noble well, great. Good deal, good deal. Still not even a nibble, come on. These fish aren't but I was a little bit curious if I was like hitting that guy over there with my rod and that's why I wasn't nothing was biting, you know. I just keep pulling back like pieces of clothing from him and it's just like what are you doing? There it is. Hmm. Okay. Yes, I got a Spearow. I could throw a lure ball at it, but to be honest, I don't even think this thing's like worth it. I think I'm gonna have more fishing encounters in different cities that might be more worth it. I think the most that Spearow deserves is a Pokeball. I'm gonna name this thing Rant. And I am taking this also from Cormo. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. To be honest, I just don't want to sit here forever looking for names. So, like, whenever something, like, really pops out at me, I'm just going for it. Oop. I really, really need to sneeze. <laughs> Got it. I didn't mean to do that. 
Oh, I'm in it now. Please, there we go. I was going to say, please let me out of it. Please let me out of it. All right. Maybe I can actually like, use my lore balls here because I'm going to get a good encounter. I hope I didn't reel in too fast, though. I'm not the best of fishermen. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Maybe we should get a better, like, um, I don't know, lake, stream? What is this kind of water? Maybe, like, a man-made lake? Is can you be considered a lake, though? Okay, that is a species. There should be one more encounter I can get here. And if I can't, then I'll just wait until I get surf because I'm about to get it anyways. Okay, there we go. Um, that's fine. Breloom's not bad. I just have a lot of... Grass types. I could not remember the name of the typing. All right. What is going to be your name, Shroomish? Uh, there we go. I name this thing Ramsey. I feel like I haven't used that name, but I also feel like it's a name that I would have used. But, uh, Ramsey Cornet, thank you for that subscription. These are a little bit old at this point. Actually, they're totally not. They're like a week old. That's not that old. Okay. I think... I think with that, I've exhausted all of my encounters. But also, I haven't. Because um, I think I'm going to go ahead and make the executive decision that I'm probably not going into Kanto. So I'm just going to toss the fossil and I'm going to try to encounter that Groudon again. To be honest, I don't see any reason like why not to. Like I've got I've got everything I need to catch it. I've got like I've got hypnosis. I've got uh, mons that can do very little damage and put him into the red. Like I've got everything I need to get him. I just have to get him. <sighs> I hate I I. I didn't buy repels because like it's it ends up being like technically a waste of money to buy repels but man the convenience of repels is so it's so convenient but on the other plus side with having all my encounters i at least can have a good idea of what i can really have on my team which like there's so many things I want to put on the team right now. But I'd have to take time to like train them up. And they might not have good moves for a while. It, it's it's like it's a whole thing, man, you know? Wow. There were Palkia here. I mean, I'm not extremely mad I didn't get Palkia to be honest. I would have been a little bit scared to fight that because that thing does get Dragon Rage. Water Veil minus. Wow, you're bad. Uh, Water Veil is actually not bad, though. Illuminate. You got Timer Ball. Give me that Timer Ball. If we go into another battle like that with the Groudon where we're there forever. It's not bad to have. All right. Trying to look at who's going to be able to do the essentially right amount of damage to this Groudon, like basically right off the bat. And if maybe I should not use sleep, I mean, sleep's the best, like, gives you the best chance of catching this thing. I want to throw out casual and go for like Mega Drain, but I'm pretty sure that's going to take it out immediately. And since I'm in grass, I can't use Nature Power because it'll get Seed Bomb. I mean, he might live a Psybeam. Or 
real quick. I'm gonna grab um light score out. I don't need cut anymore. Come on, Bokey Link, update with my glass score. Actually, I'm I'm actually really scared to poison jab it to be honest. Um, I I might try to leaf blade it. I'm pretty sure I did that last time, and I was relying on not critting it. So I think I might just do it again. I might have to rely on Cormo a little bit more um, for what is it called? What is it called? What's it called? Hypnosis. Which I'm not crazy about that idea, but it's what it is. Also, there's a chance I don't even get the ground on here because I'm going to toss it before I get the encounter. I'm going to go back to the same patch of grass. I know it doesn't matter like that, but I'm going to do it anyways. All right. Skull Fossil, I'm gonna go ahead and trash it. And I'm gonna see what this encounter is gonna be. It might not even be the Groudon. It's not. Okay. Nothing more I can do about that. Wait. Okay. But I guess I'm gonna try to catch an As Elf. I just care a lot less. I mean, I guess it'll put itself to sleep for me, so that's nice. I really wanted the growl on. Pretty sure I think that speeds me. It does, but it didn't matter. And I shouldn't be so sad about getting an as elf, but like. Groudon's just so much cooler, man. So much cooler. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna name this thing Peace after Eternal X Peace, I believe is what their name is. I don't think they spelled Eternal right, so it might be a different word, but that's the way I'm reading it currently. Okay. Well. That sinks a little bit, but also it doesn't. Because I didn't just spend the next 15 minutes trying to catch a Groudon again. So I guess I'll take it. And now I have a backup Psychic type in the PC. Well, I already had one in Mime Jr. Because, like, Mr. Mime's a good Psychic type. But I guess I have another one now with Battle Armor, which is good. It's good. And I guess I had Metagross too. So actually, I really didn't need it. But I did need a Ground type. <sighs> well, uh, I can't really sit around the team without using a token and having a rune be full HP and, uh, what's the other part? EP. Just wanna see, like, you know, I'm just gonna move, like, the ones who are probably more likely to be used down here. If, say, like, members of my team ha happen to die at any point, uh, I definitely use the Magikarp and the Lapras, but I don't want to put them both down there because I already have a water type down there. Same like the Flareon. Like, I want the Flareon, but you just don't need, like, all that down there. If fairy typing is in the game, then I probably would take the Mime Jr. Yeah, those are probably the most likely members who don't have overlapping typing. Except for the Metagross and the Azelf, but that's fine. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go get Surf then, I suppose. Uh, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Which means I can finally start using another team member again. Uh, I do really badly need money though again. 
I also just realized that I actually, um, I have a Moonstone, so I could actually evolve that Neat Arena, as well as, um, the Effa, once we become School Fairy. It is just on who I had on the team. <laughs> Although, Clefable is not a bad Pokemon at all, but neither is Nidoqueen. It'd be like, ground type, poison... Just thing, you know, it's whatever you want to decide. It's probably also the last encounter I'm getting for the day. Um, wow, you're weak. Why are you so weak? I'm pretty sure Morty has names of like 24, 25. I know because he has like that Gengar who shouldn't even be in existence, but it is. All right. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Just give me, just give me surf, bud. Just give me surf. Does she give me surf? No, it's the that guy. Yeah. Whoop! What slipped? Shook everything. Shook, shook. I'm wearing down, I'm wearing down. Yeah. Wearing down. Ready for a little bit of rest point here. Um, I definitely want you both to learn this. So, fortunately, goodbye to Bubble Beam, as well as Water Gun. It's gonna be lower PP for both of them, but a more powerful move in general. I almost wanna get rid of Constrict, but like Constrict's proved its worth, uh, usefulness like a couple times now. All right, did that. I'm gonna go through Burn Tower and fight. I think I think you have to fight Eustis. I think is his name. It's something like that. I know it's like E U word number number word. Usain, Usain Bolt, Usain. Mm, I'm not getting it. My mouth won't make the right um, shapes. Oh, rival battle. I think I am ready for it. Uh, there's one thing I want to do that's been bothering me. Can I stop having uh, rollout as my first move in there? This does also give me potential to get another token though, so I, that's actually pretty good. I will take that. Ooh. I also haven't used my mom for... I don't think my mom heals though in this game. I think elm heals me nice good start good start um but yeah i think elm heals me in his lab so i can use that technically once if i even need to like i've been doing pretty good without extra healing i think i'm just a little bit worried about knowing exactly where the healing is like i know lance heals you whenever you're in mahogany town ecrotique ecrotique's the city i've been in I got it. I got it. <clears throat> um, but yeah, Lance heals, heals you while you're in Mahogany. In the Team Rocket base. But I think other than that, you don't really get healed that often. Like, outside of battle. I think there's one lady on the way to Victory Road who heals you in a random house. It's like a rest house. But there's not a ton of that. I actually didn't realize how few and far between that is, at least in this game. Oh yeah, here we go. Get rid of knockoff, man. <sighs> I wish I could show you guys how good uh, heal order is, because it's so good. That's a little annoying to deal with. I don't have an ice type to really uh, counter it at all. Uh, so I don't think I really counter this in any way. I think I just overpower it. I've got rollout. Sure, let's go for rollout. Why not? What's a surf skit going to do to a big old spiky... Octopus? Starfish? I mean, he's like more than a starfish, you know? Because he's got like extra tentacles. So like, is he... Just a hybrid? 
because they also got a shell and starfish or oct octopi don't live in shells so he's like a uh, amalgamation of like three different undersea animals kind of interesting yep i beat him good job i'm sorry like i just get it man the game is it, it's like kind of painfully slow at times whenever it's like yep i know i've got him no problem um I'm actually going to stay in because I'm on round three of rollout and this is going to take him out. And the most he can really do to me is hit me with confusion that I'll probably live. That's actually a good play. Rollout already has 90 accuracy. Let's see. Oh, and we land rescue, rescue and me. Oh, we live. Okay. I did not think he was going to live round three of rollout. Especially as an Alkazam. Nice play. Nice play. Alright. I know I already have this battle. Because I am I'm like almost 100%. Okay. He proved me wrong. I was going to say I'm hundred, almost 100% that Alkazam does not have confusion. Because like in my last few battles, he just hasn't used confusion. I don't think I gave myself a token whenever I beat him in Azalea Town. I'm gonna look back at the footage and I'll make sure. Um, but if I didn't, I'm giving myself two tokens on this battle here. Just in case you guys are aware. Alright, let me just go ahead and let them run away. I know that noise. That's one of the birds. It might be Articuno is my sweet coon. Nice. Pretty sure it is Articuno. The more I think about it and the way it sounded, it's like, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay. Can I? Please. Didn't really want to fight you. Okay. I'm actually going to throw out casual. Like, casual is actually, like, on par level-wise, so I don't have to worry about not using him. Just let me slip on through here. Fight this guy, because you have to. Because I want that item there. Totodile. Should have switched out, but it's fine. Eevee. Go bean. Use your psi beam. There we go. I did it. Uh, sucker punch would be good for you since you're still holding on to huge power. I'm gonna say no because I like confused rain hypnosis like a lot. And Nightshade just is, like, useful for uh, catching stuff. Oh, cool. Lusterous Orb. That would have been good for that, uh, that Palkia, I think. Lusterous. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Had to think there for a second. It's like, is that right? Pretty sure... Well, that stinks. I'm not teaching anyone um, Rock Smash right now. That's one of those times where it's like, I really wish I would just put in like walk through walls cheats and just get that item because this lock type already makes it a lot harder to switch around team members as a whole and train them. But, you know, I didn't. Well, I just did that without even thinking about it. I was like, alright, I gotta go to the Pokemon Center to heal after that. No. No, you didn't. But I did it anyways. Okay. Is there anyone I want to sub out right now? I 
I definitely don't want to sub out Hypno, so my Psychic types are pretty much out. That Empoleon's looking nice, especially with Solid Rock on its side. Let me just take a quick look at it. Pretty good. The thing is, like, I just realized that Pokelink still like never updated that I put Gliscor on the team, and it hasn't really been updating. Um, yeah, it's fine. At the end of the episode, it's fine. Um, I'm going to look at the team and I'm going to see if anything I want to swap around. But uh, in the next episode, we're very likely to take on the gym leader. So I'll catch you guys for that episode. So bye guys. Things might change whenever you're gone. Bye.